Hello there friends, welcome on in or welcome back. If you guys are just joining us today, um, we've had a very... Ollie's in here. If um, anything breaks, assume he's stepping on something he shouldn't be. Um, if anyone is just joining us, <laughs> had a productive morning. We hit level 100 of the Skull Cavern just now, which was awesome. Hi, bud. What are you doing? Do you want me to move the keyboard so you can see? I can do that. Or you can sit right there. That's a good spot. Huh? Um, we also hit level 10 on all of our skills. So, hi. <gasps> yeah, who's a good boy? He has to be in here with us this afternoon because my mom's going to go down and do laundry. And apparently he's had a very, very busy morning. Uh, there were a lot of pigeons on the balcony. So, hi. Um, there was? Oh, Lemongrass, thank you so very much for the 34-month resub. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Sorry, I missed that. Oh, he's a good boy, huh? Um, so yeah, he was attacking the window. And my mom's like, I don't want him to do that while I'm not here. Don't step on the keyboard. Not on the keyboard. You can have this side of the desk. This side of the desk is yours. Take it. I don't care. That side, mine. He's getting all up in my wires. If anything disconnects. It's just Ollie. Hi, um... No, you shouldn't be there. <laughs> Scooby made to you as well. Honey. Come here. Come on. You're not very good at answering, I know, but come here. Yeah. Why do you want over there? You don't want over there. You can climb up another way from there and you know it. No. This is going to be the rest of stream today. This is going to be the rest of stream is me being like, Ollie, don't do that. <laughs> hey, you're a little butthead. I, mean, I love you. Oh, why can't you see him? There he is. Sitting. Oh, that moved my camera out of alignment. Also, Xandric, hello. Dealing with Ollie being extra orange today. He is like, um, I'm not actually in the game, I know. Um, Andrew sent me this video that was like perfect. It was just orange cats being orange and it encapsulate, encapsulates so much what he is. <laughs> I wish I could like explain how orange this cat is. And I mean that in a loving way. And if he's a butthead. Um, where are you going? Okay. If my green screen suddenly falls, it's him, not me. I mean, it might be me, but it's probably him. Um, Stardew, yes. So, um, I think we've unlocked something really new with Stardew, so, like, fair warning. If, I assume if you're in here, you probably don't care about spoilers for 1.6, or maybe you're ahead of me. But, I noticed something interesting i was going through my my menus while i was waiting for break to be done mastery mastery chat i think we need to go pay a visit to that door in the woods below uh leah's house because i think that door might be connected from what i like saw when i clicked on the door um but first we have a blueberry harvest we have flower harvest we have diamonds to harvest we probably have animals to take care of um, we have a whole lot of just, uh, stuff to do first, and then we'll jump into it. Simply press Stardew. <laughs> you heard about the door too? Yeah. Um, so I'm hype. I'm excited. Um, if y'all want to get your pop cats out, it is a blueberry harvest day. We do- Oh, my inventory's full. <laughs> we do love a good blueberry harvest. Oh, I hope Ollie just goes to settle on his cat tree. I think he has, actually. I was able to play Stardew today. Or you hope to be able to. Wasn't able to do the so the past few days. Got an appointment in an hour or so for physical therapy to help strengthen my right leg. Yeah, from I remember you had the uh, the fall. Hopefully it helps. I'm living through you. I doubt I'll ever have time to restart your farm. That's fair. 
That's always Mike's things too, actually. He really enjoys Stardew, but he doesn't want to do the beginning over, you know what I mean? To like experience the new stuff. He just wants to be in the end game. Um, so I think that's how I kind of enticed him to come play multiplayer because you get through it a lot faster. In a way. Uh, that away. And let's harvest some blueberries. There we go. You guys are ready with them. I'm sorry for the delay. Uh, so we had a quest to actually hand in 100 blueberries. So this is going to be very easy. There's 120 planted here and they do give multiples. So. Easy peasy. My friend doesn't want to play Stardew with me anymore because I rushed to get the greenhouse and he hates it. <laughs> I, I kind of rushed too, but like... Mike is always the kind of guy, whenever we play a game together and like... We know kind of what to expect. He's always like, oh, I'm looking forward to this. I'm so excited for this. So um, usually it's him rushing, if anything. Whereas I'm just like, I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> There's some flowers. Point six on switch on the Riverland farm. So I kind of got a save going already. Should be interesting. Yeah, I, uh, I was talking to Andrew last night, actually, and he was showing me his farm and uh, I think I'm going to do four corners when I play on my own on on probably on PlayStation do I need to save flowers for anything chat is there ever a quest for flowers yeah especially now that you can move your house too I think I'm gonna swap where my house and the greenhouse are on that map um, because I think being in the center is kind of cool Friendship and honey. Okay. I'm not too fussed about that. I have other ways and means of getting friends. <laughs> okay. Um, where do I need to put these? Oh, I just need to ship them? Oh my god, that's so easy. You can, yeah, you can move your house in 1.6, so. Um, makes it very, very easy. Okay, more ancient seeds. These are ready to harvest. Are these ready? Wow, beets are fast. Okay. So this is for a key quest. So that's now done. Made music again. As much as I want to do the metal lens when 1.6 comes to console, I'm probably gonna do four corners since it's your go-to. Yeah, I like the idea of the metal lens. I hate designing it. If I'm honest, I don't like the layout. And so far, no amount of moving things has helped. Yeah, it's just, it's not my favorite at all. I'm glad I'm not alone. Why do I feel more trees are in the greenhouse than before unless I've been placing them around the whole time? I always follow one specific guide. I can actually link it while I'm talking about it. Um, uh, 
I guess I'll know the image when I see it. This is the one that I follow. Uh, does this open the way I want it to? No. Uh, tab. Try this. This actually might be the image uh, that is on the wiki as well, but that is the exact layout that I always do. Um, oh, thank you for the Taker Takeover. Uh, this does not take into account the better sprinklers. I know you can upgrade later. Hello. Um, but to be honest, by that point, I usually just leave it anyway. Bugs me so much that the sprinklers are off-center. So they are off-center, but when you think about it, it is it is annoying, trust me. Um, but it also means it takes up less space, like you have more space to plant. Debating if you should make pancakes or toast. Ooh. Let us know when you decide. Okay, so we're gonna have honey. I am just selling these for the time being. Uh, I have to go put these in someone's fridge, Mayor Lewis's fridge. Make toast using pancake batter. I don't know how that would turn out. Oh, this song. <laughs> Let me break your brain even worse. The whole greenhouse is off center. There are more squares left to the door than right. Oh, are there really? How have I never noticed that? <laughs> wow. Well, now you've ruined it for everyone, but it's okay. <laughs> Not that Tingled's working. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it beautiful? I expect to see that emote when we play Wind Waker, okay, chat? Uh, Topaz for Evelyn, that's easy enough to do. You quickly place the beets in the fridge. Wait a sec, there's a note taped to the milk. It's addressed to you. Good job, kid. Your final task. Give the sand dragon his last meal. So this is the one Mike was going on about a while ago. Thickman! Yep, that's the Thickman. When is the next Wind Waker playthrough? So, without spoiling too much, I may or may not have a charity event coming up. And I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing for said charity event. I was contemplating... Uh, crowd control, and I was contemplating Wind Waker. And if I do, oh my god, that font. Uh, if I do that, um, I would probably continue the playthrough instead of just doing it the one day. But if not, sometime this summer. Fashion Giraffe, thank you so very much for the four month resub. Thank you. But yeah, I'll let you guys know a bit more about that when it's like properly, properly announced and everything. We do, I know, we have Pokemon games just kind of sitting off to the side. I think this is what he wanted, right? You place the essence in the dragon's maw, only then do you notice a note hidden in the eye socket. You've proven yourself, kid. Check out the pile of lumber next to your house, Mr. Key. Oh my god, that emo combo! <laughs> oh, that little Kirby is getting a, getting a dance. He was all fashion giraffe. I saw my playthrough definitely needs to be done before the end of this year. Or whenever. You know what? To be honest, I'll probably end up doing a new playthrough before that. As I'm sure a lot of others will as well. Um, because I, I have no idea where we were, or what we were doing, or who our team members are. We'll just do a brand new one. 
closer to uh, Zedai. Okay, George, I want uh, you to take a deep breath for me. Turn around, please. George, I'll be honest with you, you need to make some changes to your lifestyle if you want to stay healthy. I'd like you to reduce your sodium intake and try to get some moderate exercise with your arms. Ugh, I know what's best for me. Who do you think you are telling me how to live my life? I'm your doctor, George. I, that's who I am. <laughs> I went to school for eight years so I could learn how to help people stay healthy. Oh, Xandric, what is that? <laughs> oh. Sorry, but you shouldn't be here. These checkups are supposed to be private. Not so fast. I'd like to get a second opinion from this young lady. Very well. Crystal, what do you think George should do? Uh, you should follow Dr. Harvey's advice. I was considering it Fashion Giraffe. It's either going to be Mike, uh, if he decides to play more, or Harvey. If he doesn't play more, I'll probably go for Harvey. Thanks, Crystal. You see, George, I'm just trying to help you. Fine, I'll do what you say, Doctor. Thanks for your help, Crystal. I appreciate it. Of course, Evelyn's not in here. <laughs> Marry both. <laughs> Despite the pile of lumber beside your house, we can go do that, I guess. Oh wait, my watering can's done, isn't it? I don't think I ever picked that up. Pick a silly theme and go all all puns blazing. Yeah, Xandric, so like, for yourself, for town or farm names, for Pokemon, for farm animal names, whatever you can think of. <clears throat> Old watering can. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Actually, you know what? We're having a chill day. Let's check our trash cans. Thing one, thing two. Simple. Power company is replacing wires. Oh, you'll be out without or without power for a while. I hope everything goes well, Blay. Hopefully they get through it quicker than that. Thing I'm gonna name and see what it comes to me that or puns. It's why Aces, Cows, and Stardew are Bartholomew and spa Spatula. <laughs> oh my goodness. <clears throat> Try to stay faithful to the origin. Yeah, I was gonna say, um, no, can't check that. Uh, games like Persona, I will look up like the canon main character name, even though sometimes there's multiple. Mudana. Clock Norris. Got some wild animal names right now. Oh, we should also check out the heckin' door. I just forgot about that completely. Alright, we'll check the wood pile and then the door. Uh, there is a chicken in my way. Under a piece of wood, you found a club card. You're not sure what it's for, but it seems important. It's been added to your wallet. Okay, you guys ready to go to see what's behind the door? Yeah, you went for a name for that species, yeah. Is it a Tesco club card? Is it for Costco? Wait, this is this is parties. Wait a minute, what am I doing? Oh, you're right. This is coming up. Is it tomorrow? Twentieth and twenty-first. Okay, we're gonna do some fishing. Toast with peanut butter and bananas. Oh, that sounds tasty. All right, ready to see chat? Oh. Dear Crystal, if you're reading this note, you found the secret room I prepared for you. Within these walls are tips, 
recipes, and even some of my most cherished tools, all the very best from the many happy years I spent in the valley. By coming this far, you'll have proven that you possess the skill and wisdom to make good use of these powerful secrets. I hope my discoveries will help you in your journey to making Tater Farm a shining star of the whole world. Make me proud, Grandpa. The final path. Combat Mastery, Anvil, allows you to reforge trinkets, randomizing their stats. Oh, hi, I'm back, apparently. Mini Forge, now you can use a Dwarvish Forge from the convenience of your own home. Unlock a new equipment slot for trinkets. Trinkets can be found while adventuring and grant special powers. Mystic Tree Seed can be planted to grow a special tree. Treasure Totem can... Use on diggable terrain to summon a ring of treasure spots. Oh. Oh, I'm rainbow now, too. You now find golden mystery boxes, which contains superior items. I saw one of those the other day on someone's stream, and Mike and I both yelled out at the same time, What's that? <laughs> Iridium scythe can be used to harvest any crops, also excellent at gathering hay. Uh, Statue of Blessings. Touching the statue gives a unique blessing every day. You now find Golden Animal Crackers, which permanently double a farm's animal's produce. Doesn't work on pigs, though. Okay. Okay. I see you. Advanced Iridium Rod. Using the water to catch fish. Up to two bobbers can be attached at once. Challenge bait. A perfect catch yields triple the fish. However, each time a fish escapes the fishing bar, the catch is reduced. You can now encounter golden fishing chests. Mining mastery. Choose from two mining-related powers each day. Heavy furnace. More efficient than a regular furnace requires 25 pieces of ore and 3 pieces of coal. So that's less coal. No. Yes, that's less cold per thing. Okay. Um, Gem-bearing rocks now grant twice the gems. Oh, I'm so sorry, Affection. I really hope your back pain feels better soon. So I guess I just have to level this up um, in order to click on claim on one of those, maybe? I don't know. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I am intrigued. I am very intrigued. Okay. Hmm. I don't know even where to begin. Yeah, that did seem very neat. And it's kind of cool that there's like, you know, stuff now for us to do after you've reached level 10. You definitely got to play some Stardew when you come back from the store. Yeah, I think Mike's going to enjoy that a lot too. No worries, we'll see you later, Jacob. Have a good one. Weirdly enough, not pixels. Dried cactus fruit. <laughs> Weirdly enough. Oh, it's not done yet. Okay. I can at least hand this into him. Uh, and then I think I might actually pick up my axe. Uh... and do a little bit of foraging. Well, I guess sort of a creative mode to do some admin things. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Andrew, by the way, I... I shall ask after stream. I'll ask after stream. I've missed it, but is mastery only applicable to one skill? I think you might be able to master them all, if I understood that correctly. 
I hope. I hope it's not just one. I think it's multiple. Okay. It's not the jelly you wanted, but I do have this for you. Should have done that a while ago and I kept forgetting about it. Oh, Dave! Did you guys see Dave? I saw Dave. If you if you if you're new, Dave is it's the name I give all opossums. We've seen Dave. Praise be to the best boy. No offense, Ollie. It's very dark in here, jeez. Sourdough makes mid toast. Oh, shame. I am very happy. This is a good day. We got to Skull Cavern 100. There's like new things to do in Stardew. And I saw Dave. You missed Dave. Dave was here. I don't know if anyone clipped it, but it'd be really nice if you could. Dave was indeed here. Uh, if you're asking for the question of the day, pretty much it's like, what do you name your characters in games? If you're playing as yourself or if you're playing as other characters? Uh, what do you name your animals in Stardew? What do you name your Pokemon? Like, how do you come up with those sort of names? How is this music playing? Uh, Jukebox is one of my absolute favorite items that they've added. Uh, I think it was in 1.5. Um, and it allows any music to play on the farm. Or actually anywhere you place one. That's the other thing I could make more. No, I didn't find a music mod, sorry. Andrew and I constantly on the hunt for good music mod for Stardew. Based on the theme, one was all gem based, the other one was flowers. That's cute. Sure, it makes you blend into your chair. Kind of does, yeah. Kind of does. Uh, Nordic names are also based off of how they look. Playing a Pokemon rather than Nintendo ROMs on a 3DS, my Bulbasaur is named Onion! So I decided to go with food names. That's so cute! I started um, Pokemon Yellow on the 3DS actually yesterday. I've been enjoying it a lot. Eventually I'll get to red because I want to like complete all the Pokedex. Silver or Intanari. Random Elvish name I made up like as a kid. Uh, dogs after my IRL dogs. Anything else like a horse I'll go for default or a Pona. Pokemon I leave default. Yes, you can see the names. I have to call an appointment in an hour. It's not far from us, but still. Hopefully they get back to you soon. One of the NES Final Fantasy games he started out. <laughs> yeah, there's the uh, the Onion Knights or Onion Kids. Alright, thunderstorm tomorrow. We're having a good day today. Uh, it is Demetrius's birthday. I do have ice cream for him, so I'm gonna bring that with me. Uh, and tomorrow is the Trout Derby, so we're gonna spend all day fishing. And no regrets, I love fishing. Uh, I want to thank you for taking care of my special order. All of the hard work you've done has been a great boost to Pelican Town's image. Here's a mini shipping band as a token of my appreciation. 
I already had one of those, but you know what? I'll put one by the honey, maybe. Opponar Shadow Facts. I always named mine Bronco and have since I was a kid. Unless I stream and I give you guys the chance to name it. <laughs> they're working again. Good, we got Jeweler back. And Joel. There we go. <laughs> Jeweler really makes Joel look very, very slow in terms of, like, the spinning speed. Okay, you're all good. That is chaotic. <laughs> go. I should probably go and buy a goat today. Maybe we'll name one. Oh, I can see it. Oh, I'm s <laughs> the twerking Luigi one. Did I get them all? It's hard to tell. There's one down here. I want to know what's going on. No. No, chat's just lost it momentarily. We'll be back. What does Kirby have an ass? Why not? Kirby got damn cheeks. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not sorry, actually. <laughs> I feel like it was Rosie who was like, hey, could we have this? And I'm like, sure. <laughs> okay, so I need to come back to put these in. I forgot about that yesterday. Uh, named Ghost or some variation of Ghosts. Cat Sophie or something random. My Pokemon character is Ghost for me, but my rival will always be named one of your boyfriend's nicknames. Kirby got them cheeks is not something I expected to say today, but here we are. like listening to the the jukebox how do i make more because i know i got a recipe oh these are easy okay so i want one in my house you know just one in my house yeah i don't really need like another one someone had a really nice idea yesterday of having like the dance of the moonlight jellies theme playing and i thought that was a good idea uh I don't know what the song is called. Star Draw, Horseradish. I do like the Horseradish Jam. Echo, Story Valley Fair, Festival, Playful. Luau. Is there magic shoes, danger? Dance with Moonlight Jellies. There we go. I like that idea. I'm sorry if that was you who mentioned it. I am stealing it. And then when you come outside, it'll be different music. Um, okay, what am I doing with myself today? Oh, place in the greenhouse. Yeah. You guys are crazy this one, so I think we've all just kind of collectively lost it. And I'm here for it. <laughs> Silver bomb. Okay, so. We're gonna go put this with the raccoon and see what he says. Good news that one of Stardew players. Pennies. Oh, yes, I had read that post as well. Yep. Yeah. Mm hmm. 
she redid a room in their house and that got rid of all of their like uh kegs i think it was thanks bobo take this raccoon journal excuse me weeds have a greater chance to yield mixed seeds oh cool it does call me a bobo raccoon journal is now available in there now why would they let me buy it again i guess it's good for bike but like why okay uh demetrius and then uh, i wanted to buy a goat it means idiot does it food <laughs> me though give me my goat chat who wants to be a goat wants to be a goat y'all get to be a goat type exclamation mark name into chat if you want to be our new goat that's its current name i'll uh sit here and wait could have had goat you could have If you're already named for something on the save file, respectfully don't enter again. Um, you guys already know that. Oh, you're, you're all good about that. For anyone who missed it earlier, by the way. It's, uh, it's, uh, not raspberry, cherry lollipop flavor. And it's really tasty. I might have a new favorite. It's it's like almost a little on the sour side. A little on the sour side, but I'm liking it. Have you had it in cans? How is it? I've never had the can G feel. Oh, trash ghost. Should I just I, I should I just do the trash ghost, I guess? I've been just using people's usernames, so. If it fits, if not. Oh, just short. Um Do you want to be the trash goat? Or do you just want to be ghost? Let me know. Yeah, like a cherry popsicle. I didn't have ice this morning, so like it's not fully chilled. <laughs> the trash band. Trash goat would be fabulous. Okay. There you go. The trash goat. It seems almost mean. We don't mean it in a bad way. I'll send the little trash goat to her new home right away. <laughs> Sorry. Follow well, question, what does pog mean? Um, on Twitch, I take it as a sign of like, you know, shock or awe or excitement. Um, it's also like, it translates to like an emote. Like there's pog emotes that are usually like someone with like their mouth open in shock, you know? Nickname of endearment. <laughs> I love that. Hey, Tunkus, how are you? Oh, come on in. Come on, shoo. Maybe I wasn't gonna fight you. That was a little Judomo hanging out. It'd be kind of cool to see them in more places around the valley. Chilling. Oh, and cross stitching. Cool. I want to see if this is actually upgrading. Is it? What number were we at before? <laughs> We're at 5,295. 5,295. Yeah, 5,308. Okay. Alright. And if I eventually have to chop down all those trees in the desert and at the quarry, oh boy. <laughs> We are going to be set. Speaking of the quarry, actually. What would I need if I wanted to make... 
lots of crystallariums. Is it iridium? That one came first and the original became problematic, so they made an elaborate marketing campaign to determine the new one, only for that one to become that one. Which is seemingly planned all along. Good luck following this comment without hovering over the emotes. I'm I did my best. <laughs> it was a lot. Okay, so crystallariums oh gold too. We have the batteries, so that's not a big deal, y'all. Gold, okay. Well, while we're here today. Oh my god, we have so much gold, never mind. Um, it really is the iridium that we're gonna be running a little lower on. I think we need a tater pog. I, I, oh God, I found someone who I want to do the emotes and I haven't reached out to them yet because I keep forgetting. And I like kind of let them know a while ago. I'm like, hey, you know, I might, I might like reach out to you. I just need to like get some things in order first. And then I completely forgot every time. We need to tater everything. Now that I agree with. That I agree with. There we go, that was 13 exactly. Okay, so I've not forgotten it is Demetrius's birthday. I'm just gonna swing by the board and see if there's any quests for us for today. I've been going to do a capybara. I really did con contemplate it, and then Tater came out of nowhere. By out of nowhere, I mean out of Clade's mind. <laughs> and uh, the rest is history. Purple mushroom for Clint. Easy. Get two framed animated. If you donate like thousands of dollars during a high train, no, no. Dear lord. These tater emotes ever are because they look so head empty in a way, if that makes sense. No, it does. He he doesn't have a lot going on. And that's okay. Do we have anyone in here who missed uh the introduction of the newest tater baby, by the way? Just a member of the tater top fam. I wasn't here. Oh my goodness, wait. Wait. I have to grab her. And I did say her. It's the first lady we've had. So, and I feel like I need to like illustrate this properly, right? For those who weren't here as well. This is Tater. And he is what I thought was the smallest size of plushie. He's a very respectable, I'm covering things, size. <laughs> and he's he's like, you know, he, he's a nice size to hold on to. And then someone very, very generously gifted me little sweetie. Uh, her name's Sweet Potato, but we're calling her Sweetie. She has like a really cute, like, pink pastel to her. So she's teeny. <laughs> she is itty bitty teeny. She's a little sweetie. A little sweet potato. Um, and then we got Cousin Spud and Cousin Mash, who are bigger and gray. They're bigger than Tater. Uh, French fries in the corner. He is actually blocking Ollie from going behind my shelves. <laughs> he, he, uh, he stands up in the corner because he's tall. Yeah, thank you again, Blobby. Um, very, very cute. So we gifted Demetrius. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go get the mushroom for Clint. I will. I'll take a Tater family photo. Someone remind me and I'll do it. French Fry is in trouble and needs to sit in the corner. <laughs> I'll try to have like French Fry popped up in the background because French Fry, if you don't know, distantly related Tater cousin. 
is very, very long. It's it's not one of these. It's actually technically a cat, so distantly, distantly related. Um, and it's just this really long, narrow noodle of a plush. <laughs> Did I use up all the purple mushrooms? I don't think I did. Have you seen the baguette? Oh, like a bread plush? I probably have. At some point we're gonna need a waffle family member. We need all the potato base names. I was almost gonna name her Gnocchi, by the way. A little potato pasta, but uh, someone said sweet potato and I thought that was a lot better. <laughs> Did I really use up all the purple mushrooms? Wait, that sucks. Yeah, for waffle fry. Oh, I did! Well, sorry, Flint. <gasps> Dr. Norma Iris, hello! How are you? Welcome on in. Maybe one vodka. <laughs> Potato juice for Pam. Pick it, pick it up. There we go. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Been having a lot of uh, success in Stardew today. Just kind of chilling. I feel like I don't come up here very often. Oh, it's great. Oh my goodness. If if um, if you haven't checked it out yet or if you haven't been able to, it is very, very good. I know it'll be a while probably before it's out on console, but... Welcome back, Mechas. I'm gonna be checking this like constantly by the way I am so interested to see how or like what happens when we reach uh, full level on that They changed back to normal. I did not like the other version. Did they have another one for a while? Because now that you're mentioning it, yeah, I, I remember there being some like discourse over that. Anyone tried Disco Inferno Crust for their hung hungry howies? I don't think I've. I don't. Is Hungry Howie a pizza chain? I don't know if we have that up here. <laughs> yeah, no, I wouldn't know. Is it like a spicy crust? That's all I can gather from that. I'm a spicy lover and woo, this has a kick. Oh, that's good. I'm glad you like it. That was a lot of wood chopping, but those trees were kind of bothering me. Yeah, I've, I've never even heard of them, so I don't know if they're even here or if it's, like, very, very regional. Keep walking, Sebastian. You don't need to see this.
You know what? I haven't. I keep forgetting that we have the sewers unlocked. I haven't been going down to see Krobus. Maybe I should start trying to befriend him. I think his birthday is like beginning of winter. Um, and also I think he does sell some interesting things. back here. There we go. That's better. Every time I run past, I look down at it and I'm like, I should fix that one day. And then I never do. So I don't want to, like, spoil anything. Um, but I will say, now that something has happened on our farm, I'm being very vague. Um... When I'm running around, I think especially at night, if y'all want to keep an eye out, there might be something lurking in the darkness. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to spot it. So I'm just going to let you all know. We did find the door, yeah. Uh, okay, 132. Oh, um, I guess I'll keep the bobber on. Why not? Doesn't really matter. Okay, day 20 of the summer. This is going to be the first day of our second trout derby, and it's raining today. Uh, thunderstorms again tomorrow as well. It's a good day. Okay, let me harvest these quickly. these in yesterday. <laughs> okay, and I actually forgot, but we do have one of those shipping bins right there. Those are all good for today. Grab one of these and put it in. I forgot to say hi to our goat yesterday. <laughs> it's just a little baby goat. about 10 states in the USA. Yeah, that makes sense then. Yes, indeed. Our pizza chains here, like our big, big ones are... Um, Jeez. Uh, Pizza Pizza is our big one. Um, we have Little Caesars, we have Domino's, we have um, Pizza Hut. 
and those are the main ones off the top of my head. Alright, let's go fishing. Go get us some golden tickets. Check in on the raccoons today. Did you need anything extra? Now we start a family. I mean, there's gonna be baby raccoons? Righty trout, derby. Run home as fast as you can. <laughs> I'm gonna go to a chocolate factory. Uh, and if you guys weren't here for this one last year, in game, uh, we're looking for rainbow trout, which is not that fish. Um, from what I think Mike was saying and from what I remember, you can get it either as you catch the fish, it'll pop up above your head, uh, or I think in treasure chests. Trip and hold your knee for like five minutes. There was one, but we didn't get one that we wanted. 50 years since the super outbreak of tornadoes that hit some of Ohio and Tennessee. Ironic since we were expecting some bad ones yesterday. Yeah, we really don't get all that many up here. It's not completely unheard of, but really not common either. I guess in a way this is actually good because we are getting mastery skill. You don't get them at all. Do you have other sort of natural disasters more common in your area then? Or just pretty safe where you're at? I know I heard about um, a really big earthquake I think in Taiwan? Somewhere I heard there was a massive earthquake, I think yesterday. Um, and then I know we've had earthquakes here, but again, rare. Um, and usually we're just like, we feel the aftershocks, not like in the epicenter. Nor tornadoes here in Florida, just hurricanes. Oh, they're with Taiwan, yeah. That tornado was carrying your car. <laughs> Tropical storms for you. You're terrified of them. Montreal, we're expecting up to 30 centimeters of snow overnight. Really? God, I'm so sorry. I don't... Like, winter holds on to Montreal a lot more than where I am at, it seems. Which I guess kind of makes sense, but... Not really. Occasional storms, but no earthquakes, no tornadoes, no hurricanes. Very safe. Yeah, Sandy. Sharknado. <laughs> Um, and then there was another place, um, I feel like it was near some sort of town that was known for its skiing, I believe it was, that had a big volcanic eruption recently. I think it was skiing, I think I remember hearing about that. my part of Montana, but the eastern part can get them. The western part where you get earthquakes, but it's not often, yeah. Alright, kids, soon. I hope your uh, your appointment goes well. We'll see you later. Oh, there we go. First golden tag. I got a bucket hat. That means chat. As much as I enjoy 
our question mark hat. We gotta put on the new stuff as we get it. I look like I'm gonna break into somewhere. I look like I'm a Sims burglar. With the shirt. The like stripes. Boz, how are you today? Welcome on in. You felt that one, Isabel. So of Agent Steel set in 2091 after the Earth is destroyed, where our character generally thought Sharknadoes were a real thing. <laughs> it's like, why would they make a movie about it if it wasn't real? Yeah, I figured. I hadn't seen the episode, but I figured that would be it. <laughs> yeah. Um maybe 15 years ago, I think we had uh an earthquake here. Um or at least it was felt here. It was one of those things where, like, if you were walking around on the ground, you probably wouldn't even notice, like, if you were just walking down the street. Um, but being pretty high up in an apartment building, uh, that are designed to sway, as I found out, because if they don't sway, they're more likely to snap. Um, we definitely felt it up here. <laughs> Yeah, it was it was scary. Uh, we had birds, we had budgies at the time, and their cage was up on a tall like bookshelf in the living room, and they have lots of like bells and noisemakers and stuff for them in there. So all of a sudden, their cage starts rattling really loud because of all the bells, and like they they were not happy. Yeah, they were okay, but, uh, they were not happy. <laughs> and, uh, the other cats, we, we had, you know, the four at the time, um, which is half the reason why the birds were out of the way, high up. Um, the three of them didn't notice, they didn't really, like, you know, they knew something was going on, but, like, it didn't really bother them. Uh, but little Kiara, she, both times, because there was two, Two different instances within about, I want to say, like a year of each other. Um, both times she came running to my room. One time I think the door was open, she like dove under the bed. The other time it wasn't, so she sat there at the door freaking out. And that was like a minute or two before it started happening. Like you could feel the shaking. So that was kind of interesting. Yeah, they the birds were actually generally pretty good. They would squawk every now and then, and they had their little noises and songs they do, but um to be honest, most of the time I love these. The the birds were called Midge and May. Um one of them, I can't remember who, it may have been May cuz she was maybe not as intelligent as the other one. Um she'd stick her head in the bell and then wobble her head back and forth. <laughs> So, like, that kind of muted the noise a bit. I'm not really having much luck here, am I? I mean, I'm having a lot of good fish, don't get me wrong. A lot of, like, high-quality fish, Dorados and stuff. Some treasure chests, but not, like... You know, the one that we're after. <laughs> it's a shark now thing. It's just entertainment. And she replies, why would someone put a shark into a tornado? I think it was actually happened. First case, the cats have vanished before they had no idea where they went, just poof, gone, then they'd reappear so nothing happened. The dog, however, would stand braced on the floor in the middle of the backyard. Oh! Poor Buffer's like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> yeah. I've always said that is my one really, really 
good thing about Ollie, above all else, is that if he's not feeling well, or if he's scared, he will come to us. He will not go to ground. He won't hide. Because if something was to happen and we need to get out quickly with him, I can grab him. So, anytime, like, we have a fire alarm and, like, it's a loud noise, we always praise him so much for coming to us. I heard really good things about it, Rebecca. Can I just have another tag, please? I just want to get all the goodies. I, I, I can't even complain. Like, I'm having great luck. I fished up a diamond. But, like, this isn't what I want. <laughs> I wonder if it's because it's raining. If I'm catching a fish that's like a rain river fish. I don't know about anything other than the catfish for that, mind you, but... That guy got one. Why can't I? We're up to 7,000 now. We're reaching for, for 10k, it looks like, for our uh, first reward. Bear with me, Rebecca. Oh, this is for uh, passing your door. Right. Oh, I'm excited. May 23rd. Love all the story that goes along with the movies, but it's only tiny connections or references. I have to see if I can get uh, that Paper Mario day one. I think I might revisit the first Paper Mario just on my own before that one comes out though. If I have time. Because <laughs> um, it's been a while since I've fully gone through that. Um, and I feel like I could use the, the practice. Yeah, I do want to do Super Paper Mario, so maybe we'll, we'll do that one after. It is, yeah. And uh, what I found out, I thought I was just really, really bad at the controls and like the timing. 
when we played on stream. I remember someone came in and made fun of me during the final stream for not being able to hit any of the, like, you know, follow-up attacks. Um, and I was playing on the Wii U Virtual Console. And I don't know whether it was just the Virtual Console on there, if it was my controller, if it was the Wii U, or if it was a mix of both. But it was- the timing was completely off on input. Like, there was some sort of delay. Uh, and when I tried it out on NSO on Switch, um, I was hitting all my attacks, no problem. <laughs> so I feel very justified. <laughs> I was like, I knew I wasn't that bad at the game. Um, and it also, the same thing kind of happened when we started up Thousand Year Door. I was getting the, the timing just right. Game, I know I've been having a lot of really good luck, but like... Oh, actually, wait a minute. There's a bubble spot right there. I wouldn't mind a rainbow trout. Oh, the bubble spot just disappeared. <laughs> what is this? I... Oh, I'm just... I'm gonna go home. Wait, did we ever make the fish thing? I think we did, didn't we? Yeah, should I like... Oh, it requires coal. I don't know how long this thing takes to like finish actually. Well, you know what? Let's just see. 50 minutes. Oh, that's nothing. Okay. No, don't drink the mayonnaise. put like a more expensive fish in. So a normal one is, am I reading that right? 300? Or is that 300 for the two of them? And this one is now 419. Maybe what I'll do is I'll just have like a fishing like box. I could just shove all these into. in there. Alright, that was day 20 of summer. We are making so much money. I should probably look into our house upgrade, actually. So the final one... Oh, I see. Okay, 65k, which we definitely have. And 100 hardwood, which we also definitely have. Okay, today's not a great day. Uh, but we did learn 
how to make pink cake, it looks like. Uh, I need truffle oil. Don't ask me why. That one's gonna take a while. Oh yeah, I barely have enough money, definitely. Okay, so... Yeah, look at that difference. Sitting quality. Uh, unsmoked is 225, smoked is 630? I know, game, that's what I was saying. Yeah, that is definitely a reason to use this, I would say. Love how people are freaking about Harada, Yoshipi, and Sakurai having dinner together. Oh, are people being like, oh, things are happening, or... Sorry. You were too small still. I mean, I wouldn't like completely count out things happening, but also like... If they publicly announce that they're doing dinner, then like maybe not? Maybe they're just industry professionals who all want to have dinner? Exactly, exactly. People need to calm, calm down. <laughs> Way more than the MCU at this point. Yeah, I think I've definitely fallen off, which is unfortunate, but it happens. Tekken and Final Fantasy are already in Smash Bros. They all likely know each other from projects like that. Yep. I'm just gonna put all the fruit away in there. There we go. Don't eat it. <laughs> Do not just randomly eat a raw egg. Okay, we're gonna go back to fishing. Maybe we'll have better luck today. Maybe. <laughs> um, but I do know that we have... Oh, should I make some more crystallariums? I might actually. Fair warning friends, it has been yet another hour. We have our final ad break coming up here in about a minute, just so you know. Oh, that's five gold bars? Oh dear, I need to have gold in. I didn't even take a note of how many that was. Alright, set that one down and wait. I'm 
I must feel like I'd be better off mining today. Uh, now we start a family. Okay. Just waiting. Oh, was there a me outfit? Really? I didn't know about that. <laughs> yeah, you actually want him. It's more than Shantae got. You know what I want, chat? Kirby has never been a proper Mario Kart character, no. Just before I say this, just because it's me and I tend to forget things. I don't think so. I know that Kirby has, like, an outfit for me characters in Mario Kart, I think. But I'm just saying, Kirby with, like, the feet's not able to touch the wheels, just like Toad's. I think that'd be cool. And also a gad. And like a costume for Luigi with the polter gust. More Luigi's Mansion representation is always a good thing. Or start with wheels. See, like, it just have like the things from like Kirby Air Ride, you know? Just, just bring those over and I will be happy. Or just give me Kirby Air Ride on a virtual console. <laughs> Because I really enjoy that as a party game. It is so fun. I think I've caught like what four rainbow trout but no tags. Oh, we got a treasure chest though. Nope. Uh this is fishing experience. So I wonder if these now will give okay, let's science. Let's science. I have eight hundred and sorry, eight thousand three hundred and forty two points. Eight thousand four hundred. Okay, so that gives you a hundred experience for that compact version. Uh, ever see the trailer for Rosalina and Luma in Smash? It's basically, as Kirby and Mario Kart. I hadn't actually. No, I hadn't. I only very, very late uh, in the more recent uh, Smash game started actually paying attention to any sort of announcements or trailers for it. I think the first one I remember distinctly seeing, and I think it was just because I was just more online at the time, was the Banjo-Kazooie reveal. I think. I remember Luigi being killed at one trailer, but I don't know if that was before or after. <laughs> Was that before? Yeah, I was like kind of like, you know, vaguely aware, but not really paying attention. Yeah. 
before Banjo's DLC, Castlevania characters. Were they base game? Okay, yeah. So that would be probably the earliest I had seen them. And again, it was because it was Luigi, so I had an interest. <laughs> You guys think we'll ever get a Luigi's Mansion movie? I would be so down for a Luigi's Mansion movie in the style of the more recent Mario one. Oh, I swear if they make a live action, I will fight someone. Smash 4 and Ultimate are all really good. You should check them out sometime. I've seen very select few. Obviously, we saw Sora together. I saw Sephiroth. I thought that was hilarious. Um, I've seen a couple other characters I can think of, but I, I don't know the names of as well. I'd like to see the Xenoblade ones. I think playing Rebirth has made me kind of want to go back and tackle Xenoblade again. Chronicles, specifically. Um, but we'll see. <laughs> Watching and ranking them, yeah. That could be fun. Interesting trailer. Everyone thought it was... Xenoblade 2 DLC or something, yeah. Oh, what was it? Uh, there is a game called New Super Lucky's Tale, uh, which I actually ended up playing and I loved. It was a really cute 3D platformer. I thought it was fantastic. Uh, I played that on Game Pass, like, last year. Um, yeah, it, it's a good game. And I put it off for a long time because the first initial trailer, I saw his tail and I thought it was Conker making a return. And I was like, oh, and it wasn't Conker and I got really pissed off at it. <laughs> it was very unjustified. But no, a good game if you want like a nice fun 3D platformer. And this is for me who I don't think, like it, I, don't, I don't think I'm very good at platformers. Go check it out. Because of lore implications. How are you gonna worry about lore? <laughs> it's because everything is, is a main Kingdom Hearts series game. Everything is canon. I think I saw today, speaking of like... RPGs that I enjoy. Uh, Final Fantasy VI, I think it's having its 30th anniversary today. I think it was six. Oh yay! My first one today! Oh, I got a crab pot. Nice. Thirty years of suplexing trains. <laughs> Time for a remake, right? Right? It's another game I want to sit down with at some point. Play the, uh... Pixel remaster. I own it. I just need to sit down with that. I think my- it's a very strange problem to have. I was trying to go through an order, so I played Final Fantasy 1. Uh, attempted to, and I- I finished it before once, but I don't think I'll ever finish it again. I just don't really like that one very much. Um, and then I got to Pixel remaster for 3, but 3 is kind of different for me because I played, like, the DS. Um, 3D remaster of 3 first, and I really like that one. They gave character to the four the four kids, like it was great. Um, and had a little bit more kind of like fleshed out story. Whereas Pixel Remaster is very true to the original, which didn't have that. So playing through it, I'm like, oh, this is weird. <laughs> you you aren't you aren't the people I know. Um, so maybe I'll replay the 3D version of three. Because I own that on Steam as well. It's 
someone using their role plays. <laughs> Re. <laughs> Oh, remind DLC. I was honestly, I was a little bit surprised that they weren't gonna go with, or assuming they don't go with Reunion for uh, Remake's final part. Um, I was kind of surprised they used that for Crisis Core. Just, it seems like a fitting last title, but... What do I know? <gasps> Thank oh, you. Oh, less than three lurks. Lurks, I appreciate that. Thank you so very much for the four months. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe we can get some some emote spam in chat for that, by the way. Very much appreciate it. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna get anything else. I've had two golden tickets. Like, this event is not working for me. I'm just gonna go put down this crab pot. Resurrection. Yeah, there's, there's like a good couple of names I could see. I think what's funny is I was watching, I think it was Maximilian Dude's lead up to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. And he called Rebirth like, Rebirth is a name, years ago. And it was, ew. like, wow. <laughs> Revenge <laughs> Oh, I got bread. Garbage bread. Love it, look at him go! Oh, this is a really weird cutscene, I remember this one. Restoration or something. Look at that grossness, chat. I was just thinking of you, miss. This bug meat you found is perfect. I said fresh, I didn't expect it to still be wiggling. But I'm not complaining, the fish love it. <laughs> Looks like you! As a way of saying thanks, I wanted to teach you an old fisherman's secret. My old pappy taught me this on a fishing trip many years ago. Learned how to craft a quality bobber. It's not bobber will attract higher quality fish. It means more money in your pocket. Gross looking creature, right? Hey, Faye, how are you? Reappearance, revival, or resurgence. Sleepy did an extra shift at work today. Hopefully it was worth it. Oh, cheese, cauliflower. Oh, that sounds good. It's just a gateway for more cheese. Emerald for really can't do. Pink joy con star ocean in the mail today. It makes up for our tax return papers. Picked up from the accountant. Those pink Joy-Cons are really pretty. How far have you gotten into Chapter 11? Uh, I'm still at the same place I was yesterday, actually. I did not have time to play last night. Uh, which was... I am into the town, and I was about to head up to a reactor. And I'm, I'm hoping there's not more than one town in Chapter 11, but, like, THE town. But, uh, all I have to do today 
is uploads, and that means I can't really touch my computer, which means I can just sit and play Rebirth without feeling guilty. <laughs> I'm excited. I was about to eat a person if one more person argued with you. Oh, why are people arguing? Why do people be like that? I had bread in here when I shouldn't. I don't think my character knows how to. Oh Please no, it's pepper poppers. Save the game. I will save. I will be saving. Uh, I don't know if. Uh... Excuse me, Ollie. My character knows how to make uh... the spicy eel. If you used to give me their name and date of birth, like best. I do not read minds. I have no idea who you are. Workers don't make the rules, they just enforce them exactly, and yelling at this poor cashier who probably makes minimum wage. Um, in any place, regardless of whether you do actually make minimum wage, is not going to help you. Okay, more lightning storms tomorrow, jeez. It is a good day today, though. It is a Monday, so we can pick up our next quest. Is this a dwarf's birthday? Let's see here. What is the dwarf like? Okay, J uh, gems. Ag. Oh my God, there's moogles. That's why you're working a dead end job. You're useless. Exactly. Like if if someone did not work that job, how would you expect to get your whatever the heck you're yelling it for? <laughs> Always be nice to people who are within eating distance. <laughs> Rules to live by. We got some popcats today, by the way, friends. Blueberry day. While we listen to the mermaid. <laughs> got some sushi. Nice. I think tonight we're doing like a yellow curry or something. I'm looking forward to that. With some rice, some probably chicken or something like that in it. I reached a new level of understanding. And then I reset. So I think we can go spend that today, friends, if y'all want to see what that's all about. I know I do. I know, it's weird, right? <laughs> the game also keeps picking this song. I don't think I've heard any from Ginger Island yet. I don't know if it's because I haven't unlocked it. But I thought that was kind of interesting. I guess I saw someone... Somewhere the customer was pissed at saying hi instead of good morning. I'm gonna change the music because it is very loud. This is better. <laughs> this is a lot more tolerable. Oh, I missed one. Whoopsies. Dangerous games there. Oh, 
Oh, can I not go all the way across? Oh. I might move these down next season so that I can just go all the way around. I guess I could go on the inside, though. I could do that. Hey, Sandra. Wow. 50 months. 50 months. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, 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 indeed. Thank you so very much for that. Hope you were having a good day. Common saying in Danish to translate to continue to have a good day, which I can see how it could be seen as rude since you're assuming it's been a good day so far, but the other is just dumb to complain about. I, yeah, someone's just trying to be nice, you know? That's literally all there is behind that. Brian's very excited. Always very excited. He's also done with terrible customers. <laughs> He's tired of you guys getting him to say silly things. I don't think he's gotten over being turned into a helicopter that one time. And it's just I hope I'll be lurking while you work. I hope your workday goes well. Over the dinosaur? I'm the attraction. Have the day you deserve. <laughs> oh. I think I've told this story on stream before, but the best instance of karma I have ever seen, I was. 12, 13, maybe. And I was at this theme park with my mom one summer. Um, and we were waiting in line for a hot dog. And when I say a hot dog, I mean like, like a big hot dog. <laughs> uh, we had always said we wanted to try it, but we always kind of like saw it after we ate and we weren't hungry or like anything. So like one day we went there with the intention of getting this hot dog. I think we shared one because I was small and I couldn't finish one on my own. Um, and they were massive anyway. Um, and I think there was some sort of, like, it was, like, an issue. Like, they had run out of buns or something silly like that. Like, just a minor issue where someone needed to run to, like, the back of this place or wherever to get more. And this lady, this, uh, this older lady, and kind of get the gist of, of what they were probably like, um, just threw the biggest fit at this poor, probably, like, 16-year-old, like, first summer job kid who's, like, probably trying not to cry from the looks of things behind the stall who was just left to, like, kind of, you know, there's a long line of customers. This person's just freaking out that they're not going to get their hot dog right then and there. Absolutely livid. Finally, this other person comes back with the buns. Um, they assemble this person's hot dog as quickly as I'm sure they could. And she went over to the, like, the condiment station. Pumped the mustard, because it was one of those, like, pump things. And it got all over her shirt. And I will never forget the way my mom laughed out loud. <laughs> she did not try to hide it. My mom was pissed off with this lady. Um, and my mom's usually, like, you know, pretty passive, but, like, no. No, no, we were gonna laugh at that. Uh, yeah, that was- that was some good- that was some good karma. And I hope that lady dripped more mustard on herself, and I hope her hot dog slipped out of her bun. Because <laughs> she was just being so rude for no reason. Larry, take over the site and make everything grayscale because the colors were too much. <laughs> He's like, let's just calm it down here. Okay. Uh, should I go and have stuff upgraded today? I can go open some boxes here. Um, what are my tools looking like? 
Every hot dog she has in her life, the mustard goes everywhere. The bun is always soggy. Heck yeah. No, there's no excuse for being nasty to people like that. Even if you're having a god awful day. No. Um. So I was gonna wait on the iridium pickaxe. Maybe I'll just upgrade my hoe? Finally. Oh, it was the dwarf's birthday too, wasn't it? Splurts everywhere. Oh, no, no. Even better yet. Even better yet, right? Um, hopefully, every time she tries to pour ketchup out of the bottle, she forgets to shake it first, and you get that nasty, like, ketchup water all over everything. That's the way. It's also so disgusting. <laughs> oh, it's so gross. Uh, Red Snapper. That's another ticket, so I'm kind of tempted. Where is that located? <laughs> Ocean, summer, fall, rain. I think it was going to rain tomorrow, so. Ketchup and mustard water, the bait of my life. Pops on her when she takes it out. Oh, now we're getting nasty. But I, okay, here we go. Oh, wait. 1,000 pieces of stone? Oh, it says a check mark. Have we already done that? Does that check off when it's already been done? I'll do the fragments one, I guess. I've been putting it off. It's a new thing from Moment 6. I like that. Um, do we have any tips and tricks for getting all the- <laughs> all the bone chat? Is there a certain floor or a certain place I can go to and hope for the best? I don't know if we have any other cute ones. Should I have the ducky for a while? I'll do the ducky. No, they do need to be fresh, unfortunately. It's one of those situations again. <laughs> Haley, Haley, keep going, keep going. There we go. Okay, let's go put in the hoe to upgrade. <laughs> We did, yeah. Unfortunately, I don't think it does count. I can pick it up to see, but as far as I know, it doesn't count anymore. I heard there was a question, but I didn't get the question. The question is, uh, for getting bone fragments, is there a certain area of the mines uh, that I would be better off going to? No, don't have the cute bobbers on the Switch. It's, it's new. I was almost going to have him open that crab cake. <laughs> Oh. Well, that's disappointing. I need more. Ugh. You can just spam the elevator. Okay. Seventy-five. Would you book a flight from your phone or do it at PC? Uh, from my PC. Whenever I have to do important stuff, I never rely on on mobile browsing, <laughs> ever.
thing is, at this point, I have no idea what's new anymore. I know we're really close to finishing the museum, but... do it from my phone. I do everything from my phone. I've actually heard um, a lot of, and I mean like younger, younger kids. I don't mean like, um, you know, people in their 20s are up. Um, a lot of younger kids these days will only really do things from their phones. They don't really know how to use a computer. Um, they're really good on tablets and stuff, but when it comes to, like, actual computer usage- <gasps> Is that the basalt? Oh my god, we finally got it. <laughs> I can't believe we actually got it. This is hype. This is good. Stupid lava, yes. Aren't too keen on Facebook? I mean, to be fair, neither am I. Uh, I got nothing to donate, okay. Didn't get a phone until I was 14, even then it wasn't a smartphone. Yeah, whereas kids today, they're they're on their devices from the earliest of ages. Um, but the idea that they don't really know how to use it. And again, it's kind of like, you know, our previous generation, for example, my previous generation. They'll make fun of us for not knowing how to do things like um, service a car or like, you know, other like maybe more manual labor things. But it's also because we didn't get taught that um, oftentimes. So it's like, are we just not teaching our com our our computers? <laughs> are we not teaching our kids how to use computers and then making fun of them for not knowing? Or is it just purely because they've been on tablets from an early age? And that's all they know. Take your basalt. I gotta go. Yeah, using a fax machine. Like, they'll make fun of you for not knowing how to do those things, but like, how were we meant to know if we weren't taught? And I do wonder if that's the case with uh, the younger generation right now, is we just are not teaching them, we're just kind of expecting them to know. And for not knowing how to do something wasn't up to the older generation to teach them exactly. Very much how I feel as well. It's a silly thing to get into. Yeah, I had, uh, I had computers in school. Um, I had courses that were all about that, how to use um, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and then keyboard shortcuts and, and other stuff, and even how to make a website like basic HTML. Um, I don't know if that's still a thing, but I do know I don't think computing is, is gonna go away, especially in like the workplace anytime soon. So... We should probably teach our kids this. <laughs> it might it might come in handy, you know? <clears throat> Unless things all really drastically alter for them as they enter the workforce. Which yeah, probably not. Won't work with them on how to use yeah. I had to learn that stuff in elementary and hated it. You did GCSEs. You got some visual basic. Old enough I learned how to type in high school. On a typewriter, my mom um, is, I guess, older still. She learned it in a course offered by her work, I think, at the time. <clears throat> and to this day... Sorry, I'm losing my voice. Bear with me. Sorry about that. Uh, to this day, she's a really accurate typer because it was a lot... More of a hassle to make a mistake. Not just to break generational grind, we have to rise 
above here are those youngins and their laziness. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I would hopefully not do that with my kids if I ever get the chance to have them. Of course, about computers during library time in elementary school. Yeah, library. In middle school, we had a class for a quarter of the school year to learn how to type on the keyboard. Older people I work with at work have absolutely no idea how to use a PC efficiently. A lot of them still don't, yeah. If you can do something on your phone instead of a computer, I will. I think that's... Like, there's a, there's a sizable age gap between us, and I wonder if that's, like... That divide right there, because I would not. Um, I use my phone for, like, leisure and, like, messaging, but, like... Even Discord, if I have to do any edits to the Discord, I will go to my computer. <laughs> I do not do it on mobile. Even though I probably could. Um, okay, so pieces of bone, red snapper for tomorrow. If it's an item with a lot of directions, it won't fit under our labels and we have to use a Word document. I am the fastest at typing this. Let me do it all the time, but half the time it's copy-pasting half the directions. Yeah, it'll take them more. The school we had our computers in the EDB room, ADP in English. Electronic data processing before it became IT here. Definitely had participation trophies growing up. Who gave them out? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I saw a funny post actually kind of talking about that. And it's like talking to our generation or my generation. I don't want to assume at people's ages, obviously. And don't go into the age talk, okay? Be good. <laughs> um. It was something like, you know, here we are making fun of the kids' like broccoli haircuts. You guys know what I mean, like the, the younger kids with the, the puffy middle section and then the sides are like shaved. Um, when we all looked like this and it was a picture of Justin Bieber. Because that was a very popular hairstyle when I was in high school. Like the like bangs down and like side swept and can be banned for saying I'm a few centers. I will not ban you, random. <laughs> you are safe. Oh, this doesn't refresh. Okay. 70, maybe? 79? Okay. We'll just keep cycling then. Like you were saying. I guess this is where having that, like, burglar ring would come into effect, yeah? What, uh... Where is that from? Just, just a little, little behind. That's okay, though. More underground cavern water in my basement. Uh-oh. Oh. I still don't know how to style my hair, so why would I make fun of the trendy hair? So exactly, no, same here. I found a hairstyle when I was in, like, grade 10, and I haven't changed. So, like, <laughs> I'm never- I'm not gonna, like, make fun of people. dirt block so I can plug it up. But this is annoying. <laughs> oh wait, I already found a ladder. I forgot. Maybe also we can get some monster must going tomorrow. When we come back in here.
we go. Okay, so... Oh, are you on the bed? Oh! <laughs> okay, so I got dressed this morning and I threw the pajamas I had been wearing in the middle of the bed. Ollie claims he doesn't like me, but I think he does because he snuggled up in the clothes. <laughs> That's so cute. Okay, blur, 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 blur. burglar's ring. 500 dust sprites? Oh my god. Jeez. Pixar, it didn't happen. Wait, where's my phone? Bear with me. He's cleaning his little face right now. See? He's all snuggled up. <laughs> Turn that down a bit. Yeah. He's a snuggly man. <laughs> okay. I wonder how many dust sprites I have killed. Probably not that many. You know what? Let's go check. I got 16 today, so like that's not bad. It's just gonna take us all week. Um. You saw a beagle puppy. Oh. One eighty six out of five hundred. Yeah, we're almost halfway there. Actually, we're over halfway there on the slimes. Almost there on the rock crabs. Almost halfway there on the pepper rexes. Cool. I really cannot get over how much I look like a burglar actually in this hat. It just really gives like Sims like one and two vibes to me. to do this early. Ah, oh, Fudge, thank you so very much for the, uh, the 42 month resub. Thank you. Sorry, I don't know where we usually put this stuff. There we go. Um, okay, so we're gonna put away that. I'm gonna grab a fish out. didn't have any more of those, so we're good. I forgot about the dwarf, didn't I? Heck. Oh, something happened. What happened? Where did it happen? Oh, and Fudge, thank you so much for giving that sub Fudge to Zandric. Fudge gifted a tier one sub to Zandric. This is their first gift sub in the channel. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. What just happened, by the way? Why was there a noise? Achievement millionaire. Oh, wow. We've earned so much money today. Okay. More thunder tomorrow. Neutral day today. Uh, no one's birthday. We do got more coffee. Or the good stuff. Uh, Willie wants me to learn how to make chowder. Okay. How did I get a gift sub? I'm already sub. 
<laughs> that would be weird. That would indeed be weird. Thank you for the baby, Andrew. Bit. Bit. I thought that said something else at first, and I'm like, excuse me. Rude. Uh, no active mods, it's led to some weird stuff in chat, and the streamer just doesn't notice while focusing on the game. Super weird, I thought Twitch had requirements. You know what's funny, Rebecca? I learned about that last night. I- I had no idea you had to have at least one active mod. Oh, there's a dino egg. We can donate that. Um... Yeah, if you're a partner. I literally did not know that. Andrew informed me. I've never had that problem. Obviously. But yeah, probably to avoid situations like what you're saying, where the person is just too focused on what they're doing. So I'm gonna donate the dino egg. Um, I'm also gonna do a quick bit of fishing. Or the red snapper. Hopefully I get it quickly. I should probably make more smokers. Um, oh, it was Mike who learned how to make it. Heck, okay. Um, and then we're gonna go back into the mines. So red snappers are ocean okay to have mods and think stream elements and robots were listed as being mods in chat but i was there for like an hour and no one else showed in a community list so i think that isn't allowed from what andrew was saying yeah bots don't count you need like actually someone there that one for now it's not where we're uh, where we're fishing so I am not bust hopefully so that's the other thing you have to be kind of responsible for what is in your chat to a certain extent. A sentry and L. It's going good, it's going good. We've had a lot of luck today. We reached uh, floor 100 of the Skull Caverns earlier, which was really fun. I think on a bad day too, I didn't get to check. Um, and we also unlocked... Was it a red snapper you wanted? Red snapper, yeah. Um, we unlocked something new with 1.6 to do with mastery. Um, so, spoiler warnings, obviously. Uh, and from what I've seen, it looks very interesting. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, and then we had no luck whatsoever at the trout trout fishing thing. <laughs> like, it just... We may as well have not gone. Play Paleo or Stardew this evening. Oh man, tough decisions indeed. Paleo do <laughs> sounds like paying your due. <laughs> I said how much effort I put into this last hour of work. Oh, gotcha. Hopefully, the hour. Oh, English. I hope the hour goes quickly. Regardless of which decision you choose. I thought this was going to be a really quick fish to catch, but it is not. If I'm not careful, I'm going to run out of time. I can't remember when Pam leaves the bus stop, but I'm pretty sure we need her there. As far as I know. I keep getting it safe because I catch these red ones, but we're looking for a small red one. There it is. Okay. So, uh, I'm gonna run to Willie's, see if I can't buy the smoker myself. We have plenty of money, I'm not really worried about that. Hardwood, sea, river, and cave jelly. Okay, so maybe it's the cave jelly we're gonna be low on. After finishing her fourth beer of the day, right? Uh, yep. Good, good, good. I'm gonna go drop off the dino egg before I forget. Feels good to have that in there. It's always really annoying. It's American beer, it's mostly just water anyway. That's what I've heard. I am very much not a alcohol drinker, especially not beer. But I have I have heard that. <laughs> Be doing side quests for a bit. When I boot up strange and I had no idea how many Oh, are there a lot in Mass Effect? Never played. One day I will. I own I own them on Steam, I think. I own them somewhere. There you go. Wait, what's the What's the card for this? Is that a club card? Yes. You may enter. Huh. Right. Yeah. Oh well, look who made it inside my exclusive clubhouse. I remember needing to gamble in there, but I don't remember distinctly why, so I will be back. I got other places I need to be. Gambling! <gasps> Thank you, Fudge! Yeah, I actually had it set up to pop up on stream as well, that little graphic, but 
I uh, didn't bring it over to my new OBS overlay, so I didn't do that. Hey, Vincent. Thank you. I hope you're having a good one. Hoy again, press Bob Love. But that's not how you say hoy, Brian. Um, so really quickly here, friends, this is going to be something new. Uh, we have reached level one mastery. Um, I'm going to go see what that gets us. I don't know how this works. I don't know which one I'm going to choose because I'm assuming I have a choice. Okay, yeah, they're all shining. <sighs> this does sound interesting. This does sound interesting, but... Uh, in my home plot after the beach or something serene, I name my animals after TV shows. I'm binge watching! Oh, that's cute! Yeah, this is this is brand new. This is interesting. This is after you reach level 10 in all of your skills. For a special tree. Ring of treasure spots. See, the golden mystery box is what interests me about that one. Got the iridium psych and a unique blessing every day. Golden animal crackers. That does sound... It, it doesn't work on pigs, but... So that one is a possibility. This is also very intriguing. They do quite a bit of fishing. Oh, are they Brandon Knight? Uh, mining related powers, furnace, gym bearing rocks now grant twice as many. God, what would you guys go for? Should I go for mining or farming? Mining or farming? I like these two, I think, right now. I think you can do more than one. I have no idea. I'm pretty sure you can, like, max out all of them, I believe. So I'm just gonna let you all pick one and we'll, we'll go from there and we'll see. I'm scared. I don't, also don't like making decisions. <laughs> you guys can make it for me. So, choose from two mining related powers each day. The heavy furnace requires 25 pieces of ore and three coal per use. Mining. Gem bearing rocks. This is what interests me, especially with diamonds and stuff. Love anything crafting related. You vote mining as well. I, I think we're gonna go mining then. It has been done. Okay. Now what? <laughs> I wonder where the- oh, it's a craft- wait, is it crafting? Oh, yeah, there's the heavy furnace. This is actually not too bad to make. Oh, you need two furnaces though. Wow, okay. Um, 20 iridium bars? Oh, dear me. Okay. Okay, that's a lot of iridium. Uh, we do have that, but do I want to spend it on that? Not really. I kind of do, though. Mmm. I can get more. I can get more. This is a bad choice. Don't do what I'm about to do. I got the iridium out. Oh, I should probably make sure I at least have five left over, though, if Mike wants to upgrade his thing. <laughs> should be nice.
Uh, you know what? I'll just make two furnaces. There's a heavy furnace. Oh, it like barely looks different than the others. Mike might not even notice. Uh, let's do some more gold. Where is it? There it is. And we have 584 down to 559. I'm curious if it takes the same amount of time or not. Oh, I put away my coal. Actually, you know what? Let me just like carry some on me. Shouldn't hog all of it. Oh, that's full. Okay. Okay, now the question is, how much iridium do I have? I have 35. I'm going to make the statue and I'm going to regret it. And it's going to be great. <laughs> I'll have 15 left over, so Mike can upgrade his pickaxe if he comes back. Or if he doesn't, we can upgrade our own stuff. Ow. Okay. That was a lot. What is this? What'd it do? Plus one ore from nodes. Bombs cannot... Oh, and I think these change every day. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna make some monster musk and we're gonna go down in the mines. That's very cool. How neat. I'm, I'm interested to see what other options there are, because <clears throat> that could be good for, like, the Skull Cavern or the Volcano Mine, which we haven't been to yet. There are soot sprites on this floor, too. That's great. Yeah, look at that. I'm getting like three, four per. That's insane. I think so, Isabel. Yeah, that's actually a good thing to think about, too. We're gonna have to make sure we have enough. about bats. I'm really just here for skellies and little uh, friends. I guess slimes too. Slimes aren't bad. Oh, I killed enough skeletons for something. I don't know what that reward would be.
Could I have stairs, please? <laughs> Going down? No? No stairs? Here we go. You know what, actually? Just because it's getting light. Um, and I think they're still open. Oh, it's the skeleton mask. I remember Mike wearing this in one of his saves. There we go. Cool. Sell off those because we really don't need extras. Oh yeah, look at that. Five bars. All from that one thing. And I think it was done probably around the same time as the other one. That is so cool. Yeah, worth. Absolutely worth. Um, I guess I'll just put some more coal in. And that also does take less coal overall. Instead of using five, it uses three to make five bars. <laughs> Struggling with clay, yeah. It, it takes a while to get. It's a bit annoying, actually. How many am I up to? 36. So I'm going to keep this in my inventory just because the next time we're playing Stardew Friends is going to be on Saturday. Uh, it is Wednesday today, so i uh going to need the reminder what I'm doing when we come back. Yeah, those fish definitely add up. I feel like I need more smokers in general, but when you get those sorted and you can just throw in a whole bunch of fish. Oh, my copper hoe is ready. <laughs> Good. Alrighty, friends. That being said, this is where I have to say goodbye for today. Uh, I usually stream every day except for Thursdays and Fridays, meaning tomorrow and the day after I, I try to look at my watch that's not on. Um, I will be off. I'm going to be away from stream. Um, probably going to be on Minecraft with Mike this weekend, though, <laughs> if y'all want to come and join us there. Um, Saturday, we may or may not have Mike join us for Stardew, like I've been saying. Um, it's really just whatever he feels like doing. Um, so... For the time being, let's go say hi. Farmer Gata is playing some Minecraft, speaking of. I think they're doing an all-day donothon, it says on their titles. So let's go say hi to them. The 10 minutes unpaid. <laughs> unpaid overtime. Yeah, I did. It's all good. Doesn't need to be paid. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Um, I hope you all have a great end of your week, though. End of your work week. Um, and hopefully I will see you all on Saturday. Have a good one.